Conquering Hero duet, take two. Say hello to Nick. Look at Nicky boy, my little doggy. He's sleeping. All right. All right, so again, this is a very cool song uh, written by George Friedrich Handel and lived between 1685 and 1759, which is approximately uh, the same time as Bach. Uh, although he lived nine years longer, uh, Bach was 1685 to 1750. I happen to know that little tidbit of information because my son Matthew, who's now 30, was a Bach fanatic when he was in second, third, fourth, fifth grade. Um, so he really was into it. Now, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the parts for you and then we'll break it down and talk about it. So here I go. This is 121A. One, two, That's a fermata. Hey, what's a fermata? Boom. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to play 121B. Oh, by the way, does this start with a pickup note? The answer is no, you're correct. It does not start with pickup notes because it has a complete first measure. All right, here goes. This is 121B. One, two, three. another fermata. Okay, so now I'm talking about how to go about studying this. Um, as I mentioned before, always a good idea if you can sing it first, and especially again with a brass instrument, if you can hear it in your head, it makes it work so much better because your lips know what to do kind of automatically. All right, and I'm going to break this down into the first phrase, second phrase. So this is 121A, first phrase, and I'm going to sing it without slurs, okay, because slurs can kind of mess people up. We're going to leave the slurs out for right now. Here I go. One, two, three. Ta, ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, 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 ta, ta, ta. So that's the first phrase. All right. Uh, now, G, E, F, G, C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D. Okay, you'll notice that I not only said the notes, but I pushed the buttons. You don't have to go as fast as I'm going right now. You can take your time with it as long as you got a steady beat going. That's really important. All right, dotted quarter, eighth note, again, very important that you do ta for the dotted quarter note because it is how long? That's right, one and a half beats. And the eighth note is a half a beat that follows on the upbeat. So again, watch my foot for a second. Ta ti ta is how that works in this case. Ta ti ta because it's the dotted quarter eighth is followed by a half note. All right. Now, um, all right. Now that I've said it, sung it, and I've pushed the buttons, now I'm going to try playing it without slurs. <laughs> Assuming I got that going and I got my foot going and all that good stuff, now I'm going to add the slurs. Now, I know I'm doing this kind of fast. Obviously, if you need to work it out a bit, it's going to take you a little longer. Stop the video, rewind it, do what you have to do. That's one advantage to this format that we're doing out of necessity. All right, so here goes now with the slur, first phrase. first phrase. All right. Now I'm going to look at the second phrase. And again, same manner, I'm going to sing it. Okay, here I go. One, 
two, three, four. T T T T ta 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 T T ta T ta. I'm gonna run out of air. <laughs> Uh, my singing voice does not last quite as long as my trumpet playing sound. Um, all right, you get the idea. Now I can do, watch this. E, F, G, A, G, G, C, G, F, E, D, D, C, C. Okay, and once again, I didn't quite make the air. All right, so again, take your time with it. Uh, here goes now with the second phrase, but with no slurs. Okay, and then again, once you get that, add the slurs. That's how you go about working on it. Now you do exactly the same thing in 121B. Rhythmically, it's identical to A, except in two places. Let's see. Can you tell what measures are different? That's right. Measure four and measure seven. I kind of feel like I'm in blues clues. All right, so uh, again, the same idea. Now, one thing about this um, that I forgot to mention before was as far as your notes go, you want to make sure you observe the key signature. So right after the treble clef sign, before the 4-4 four, four time signature, you see that there are no sharps and no flats, so that every note is going to be... That's right, every note is going to be natural. So the note to really look out for is B, for trumpets and other B-flat instruments, such as clarinets, tenor saxes, bass clarinets, um, this note B and this note B-flat um, happen about equal numbers of times in the music. So roughly half the time, the music is going to call for a B, and roughly half the time it will call for a B-flat. So you have to check your key signature. Now this doesn't always exactly stay in this proportion but just right now at this stage of the game they're you know not in not that many different keys and so you know you really got to watch out for your b's you don't really have to worry about as much with the other notes but the b is the one to look out for so you'll notice you see a couple of b's in this second 121 b line all right so make sure that you play those that way all right so um follow the same procedure that you did with a sing it play it all right and uh there you go all right i'll play it through once for you i'll do one phrase at a time here's the first phrase <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. Remember to rewind as much as you need to and keep practicing. And say bye to my Nicky boy. Bye, Nick. He's still sleeping. I think he likes hearing all this. He's not used to having me around during the day.